Hello Live Wires, Heather Boyd Wire here, and today it's Tip Tuesday. Today I'm going to explain the difference between the wire gauges. The important thing to remember is the smaller the number, the thicker the wire. So this is 18 gauge, which is thicker than the 28 gauge. These are all the different size wires I use. I'm going to link up in the description the videos that I use for each of these wires. This is a really fun wire. This is the 12 gauge aluminum wire. So this is the thickest wire I have. So the aluminum is very soft and easy to work with. You can make super fun things with it. But the same gauge in brass wire is much harder to work with and you're going to need some heavy duty tools to work with this one. The next size I use a lot is this 16 gauge wire. I'll put a conversion chart in the description below so you can see what everything is in millimeters. So this one is great for sun catchers because it's a little bit thicker. You can also use it for rings. The next size is the 18 gauge wire. You'll see it's still a little bit thick but not nearly as thick as the other ones. I use the 18 gauge wire often for ring bands and other designs that I want to make the piece a little bit bigger. The size I use the most is the 20 gauge wire. This is a nice standard size, great for making earrings and rings. There's a lot you can do with this wire and I would say this is the gauge that I use the most. The conversion is actually on the spool. It converts to 0.81 millimeters or 0.030 inches. After the 20 gauge is the 22 gauge. I use this one a lot to attach beads or just when I need a smaller wire for a little bit more detail. The next smaller one is the 24 gauge wire. I love it for adding beads to certain designs and just when you need a little bit more fine detail, I use this 24 gauge wire a lot. This wire is good for doing some crochet work. It's a little stiff to work with for crochet. You can get a lot of fine detail with this. It's great for sort of a chaos type weave and there's lots of fun things you can do with this. So the last one that I use is 28 gauge. I have this in a lot of different colors because I do a lot of crochet work with this wire. This is basically like thread it's very easy to crochet with. I'm going to link up some videos below where you can learn how to crochet with this wire and it's great for wire weaving as well. Be sure to check out the description below for a whole list of great tutorials using the different kinds of wires and comment below if you have any questions at all about wire gauges or any other wire art and jewelry related questions. So thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more wire art and jewelry making videos. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I go live and when I post new videos. And if you'd like to share photos of your wire art and jewelry, be sure to join the Wire Makers Club on Facebook. And if you'd like to check out my work on Etsy, my husband and I specialize in custom wedding cake toppers and funky jewelry. I also have a mailing list, so if you'd like to sign up below, I'll send you my Wire Art Essentials ebook. So, thanks again for watching, and we'll see you the next time.